welcome back to our channel. As always, there's no real fur on this channel except for Danny's fur. intro today because Danny is in a mood. Um, I don't know why, but he's super fussy today. Um, and he keeps wanting to go outside and every time I take him outside, he'll just lie down on the ground. So anyway, um, for today's video, we're doing another draw with me video and um, I'm gonna do the differences between Alaskan Malamutes and Siberian Huskies. So grab your art supplies if you want to draw along with me, and let's get started. Hey Fluffs! Let's get started with the drawing. So for this tutorial you will need a sketchbook or some paper, a pacer, some lead, an eraser, and a black pen. So let's start with drawing some quick sketches of an Alaskan Malamute and a Siberian Husky. As I'm drawing, I'm going to explain the differences. The first difference you might notice are their names. Since these dogs are two different breeds, they have different names. But even though they have the words Alaskan and Siberian in their names, it does not mean that they can only live in those areas. I don't know why so many people believe that this is true or why it's such a popular misconception, but these two breeds are actually very adaptable to both hot and cold weather because of their unique coats. Of course, there are ways to keep them cooler and more comfortable in hot weather. I'll link the video we made about that below. The next difference you may notice is their size. Malamutes are much larger than huskies. I consider a husky to be a medium-sized breed, about the same size of a German Shepherd, but Malamutes are definitely bigger. Danny is very large for a Malamute and he weighs about 55 kilos. That's more than me. Huskies are more sleek in build and slim. They weigh around 15 to 30 kilos. Malamutes are much broader in the chest area than huskies are because they need the extra strength to pull heavy things on sleds if they are working dogs. Not all malamutes and huskies pull sleds. This is another popular misconception. The two breeds can and are sometimes very happy to be just normal pets. For example, Danny has never pulled a sled in his life, although he was a therapy dog when he was younger, so I guess technically he was a working dog, but now he's retired in his old age. In terms of temperament, huskies are much more active than malamutes. Danny has always been one giant lazy cat that loves to nap all day. Malamutes are quite laid back, whereas some huskies can be very hyperactive. Let's talk about the differences in their ears and eyes next. A husky will have more pointed ears that are closer together than a malamute's, and a malamute's ears are shorter, set wider apart, and are more rounded in shape. For the eyes, a husky's eye colour can be brown, blue, or one brown and one blue, while a Malamute has brown or amber eyes. 
Danny has the amber yellow color in his eyes. Next, let's talk about the pores. Uh, Malamute's pores are very large and compact, so they have no trouble walking on ice and snow. Husky's pores are smaller but are still compact so that they can walk on the ice and snow too. Danny's paws are huge and are about the same size of my hand. Well, my husband says that Danny's paws are actually bigger, but don't tell Danny how big he is. He doesn't know that he's actually bigger than me. Lastly, let's go over the tails of both breeds. Huskies have tails that resemble the tail of a fox. It's brushy and when at rest, it is down, unlike a Malamute's tail, which rests in a plumed shape curved over the back of their body. Danny used to have a tail like this when he was young, but now that he's a senior, his tail just rests down between his back legs. One of my co-workers thought Danny had no tail because of this, but Danny does have a tail. He's just too old to hold it up anymore. So those are all the differences that we came up with in this video. Let us know if we missed anything and please subscribe and like this video. Also comment below and we'd love to see your drawings so please use the hashtag DannyDirewolf when posting on social media. Alright, so that was the video for today. We hope that you enjoyed it. Let us see your creations in the comments below or on Instagram using the hashtag DannyDireWolf. And we will see you next time. Stay fluffy. Bye!